Speaking less than a month ago before Chicago elects its next mayor and both candidates continue to present their vision for Chicago. For the second time this week, the two men looking to be Chicago's next mayor took center stage together, this time at DuSabo Black History Museum and Education Center. I'm running to bring the type of leadership to the fifth floor that can you know, that can change the dynamic. If we're going to have a better, stronger, safer Chicago, we have to do what safe American cities do around this country, and that's invest in people. Both Brandon Johnson and Paul Vallis fielding numerous questions on several different topics facing the city on crime. You've got to open the schools and you've got to find safe and secure places and work study opportunities for the, for the high school kids so that they are fully engaged so that the burden doesn't fall on other community-based organizations. So we can't use the politics of old that continues to put guns in the street, ignore our young people, don't solve crimes, asking police officers to do more than their job if we're going to have a safe city. On affordable housing. You could issue bonds to amortize the interest with revenues that will be freed up when the TIFs retire. And, and you, could, you could generate billions of dollars that you could invest in affordable housing. I'm going to make sure, though, that we protect home ownership by not only creating a pathway to home ownership, but let's make sure that people don't lose their homes because they can't afford it because property taxes continues to be the only way in which this, comp this city can balance its budget. On public transportation, both candidates see better, safer service under their leadership. Along these lines, particularly the red line, for example, is we've got to secure that property. We've got to secure property along those lines. We also have to create bus only lanes and extend bus uh, lines to go well beyond the, the city limits. Now, early voting for the April 4th election will start on March 20th. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Eric Rump, WGN News.